Hey, hey you! Come in. Come. Right, see you guys. Wow. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. So uh, yeah. So what's up? A gathering of young people from all over the world under the Lighthouse Chapel International Finance. Sean Combe and Little One has always been a blast. I mean, the word of God, Reverend Oku, illustrations from the choir, worship choir, drama, ministry. Sean Combe has always been, you know, Sean Combe. Yeah. We've been blessed a yeah. lot through the messages. Yeah. And the worship night. Worship <laughs> yeah, praise everything. Night. <laughs> praise night. Praise yeah. night. Um, daughter, junior daughter. Usually we have that um, lady reverend. And lady, what else has been preaching? In 2008 was when I actually stood in front of a congregation to sing, so it was a blessing to me. In the year 2008, Shomkom was when I actually gave my life to Christ. My favorite part of Shonkom has always been the, the opening night. Like, immediately you enter the Jesus Cathedral. There's such an electrifying atmosphere around you. Everybody's just ecstatic, screams everywhere. And like, it's, it's so fun to see so many people coming together to just worship God and be in His presence. I love the preaching. That's, that's my favorite part of Shonkom. Even if I can't make it for a session early enough, I just make sure that if I miss something, I'm not going to miss the preaching definitely because that is the sweetest part of the whole Shomkom experience. My favorite part is the preaching. Reverend Oko preached in such a way, I mean, he delivered. Reverend Oko just, I mean, he broke down the message for me. I mean, it affected me personally as a person. I can't even put my finger on this. I wish I could say exactly what about the preaching changed me, but I can't put my finger on it. I think it's something that you have to experience for yourself to understand but it's really changed my life the word will, will worry you so much that it will change yeah. the fear of the lord is something that doesn't come naturally it is something that needs to be taught people the best part of film that i really love is um the praise night you know where during that part i like where Reverend Oko comes and preaches, not for long but for some time, you know, try to see he's, he's always trying to win the souls even during the worship times, you know, and doing the worship is very powerful. There was a night of worship and praise, it's fun, an experience. <laughs> the lights, I love the lights, it was amazing. I also like the ball because um, throughout my entire life, since I was born till um, last year, I've never actually been to a ball. You know, so when I heard Reverend Goko saying um, there's going to be a safe ball, I was in J Church and I was asking, so are the kids also going to come? I'm so glad that he actually said that it's for everybody, you know, so um, I love the ball, I ate, it was nice, actually looked good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you 
got quite a number of things right when you talk about Shomkom, looking at what has happened in the past and so on. Shomkom, if you look at it critically and come from a biblical point of view, you know, one of the only events we know about in Jesus' life was when at 12, his parents took him to Jerusalem where it all began, you know, pilgrimage. And that is one of the things that I believe Bishop Dag Heward Mills is also you know, trying to achieve by bringing the young people from all over the world to you know, Ghana where Lighthouse Chapel actually and of course the Kodesh where you know is the nerve center and the heartbeat of Lighthouse Chapel. It was so spiritually significant in the, in the time of Jesus, in the life of Jesus that it is one of the only, if not the only account of Jesus' childhood that was recorded. And I dare to say that in the lives of our young people in Lighthouse Chapel International, it is those who are able to come for Shomkom who will have a unique spiritual experience worthy of writing about and worthy of talking about. For those who have been for Shomkom in the past, a lot of people attribute certain spiritual milestones to that particular event. Well, I've noticed over the years that Shomkom has only kept on growing and becoming bigger and better. So this year, I'm sure it's going to be mind-blowing. I don't even, honestly, I don't know what to expect because God just keeps on surprising us. The Reverend Oko keeps coming at us with so many wonderful, wonderful teachings from the Word of God. So this year, I'm just sitting back and I'm just expecting myself to be surprised by God. 2011, I believe, is going to be really, really, really exciting. I'm looking forward to an amplified version of last year. I'm looking forward to preaching that's going to change my life forever. Some come to show video, that's why I like Shankar. Shankar, they read the Bible, that's why I like Shankar. Shankar, they always read, that's why I like Shankar. Shankar, they always like the Lord. I always say, come and let me treat you like a VIP. You know, come sit in my office, let me serve you tea. But you know me, if you leave Reverend Oko, I'll talk forever. So, I mean, my face should be able to convince you to come. All right, so, so I'm going to 2011. I wouldn't miss it. You shouldn't. See you there. Don't miss out on Shumcom 2011. Charlie, give me a second now. Yeah. yeah. We're blocking here. I missed myself.